Out of complete boredom yesterday, I decided to watch the Sword Art Online movie Ordinal Scale. I wasn't expecting much from this movie going in, but to my surprise, it was actually a decent movie. The film takes place after the events of the first two seasons of Sora Online, where an augmented reality device called the Alchema has risen in popularity. People are now abandoning Gun Gale Online and Alfheim Online in favor of an AR raid battle game. I won't go into spoilers in this review and I will try to be as broad and general as possible in case you haven't seen the movie and want to check it out for yourself. The movie doesn't take too long to get the ball rolling and I can appreciate that there wasn't a lot of fluff to ruin the pacing. The movie makes the argument rather quickly as to why the Augma has become more popular than the virtual reality technology of the full dive. The Augma has become so integrated into the everyday life of the people in this world, much like smartphones nowadays. You can think of the Augma as a more advanced version of Google Glass. The device has many applications outside of gaming and is more accessible than the full dive, which is made apparent throughout the movie. Surprisingly, Kazuto isn't very much into AR and prefers VR. In fact, during one of the early boss raids, it's revealed that he isn't very good at the game due to his physical capabilities in the real world. I was happy to see at first that they didn't make him an automatic beast at the game, which has been an issue with every season of the show so far. They show him actually trip over himself at one point, which comes to the surprise of Klein and everyone else around him because they know how great Kazuto usually is at these games. I was also relieved to see that Asuna was given some time to show off how skilled a player she is at games and not be relegated to a plot device. Well, at least not at first. The series has completely mishandled her character after the first arc of Sword Art Online, making her more of a useless damsel in distress than a capable player. Thankfully, there isn't too much of that in this movie, and they show just why she is just as good as Kazuto. However, other side characters aren't given much to do until very late into the film. Sinon barely has a real presence in the movie until later on. Silica and Elizabeth are still very annoying and don't really bring much to the table. And Klein, well, he's still treated like crap by almost everybody in the film. With the exception of a few characters, if you're a male in the world of Sora Online and your name isn't Kazuto, then either people treat you harshly or you're just a bad guy. There are multiple times where the ladies in the group say that they need a ride to the boss fight and they want to ride on Kazuto's bike. At one point, Klein offers to give them a lift only to be rejected. Maybe I'm reading into this, but I swear there's a lot of blatant in the window in all of this. Anyway, my point is that the side characters don't really matter much to the overarching story. However, the characters that Ordinal Scale introduces are by far the best that this series has offered. The antagonists Eiji and Dr. Tetsuro are given reasonable and relatable motivations and are actually sympathetic. In my opinion, Dr. Tetsuro is the better overall antagonist as Eiji does have a bit of a personal vendetta that is a little unjustified. He also wasn't that formidable of a foe for Kazuto when it came to actual combat. Speaking of which, the fight scenes are beautifully animated but I guess that is to be expected. Not just because this is a movie with a bigger budget than a single episode from the series, but because animation has never really been an issue with the series. Say what you want about the quality of Sword Art Online as a show, but the art style and animation has always been top notch. There is another new character introduced in this movie named Yuna, which I won't speak too much about because I don't want to spoil anything. All I will say is that I didn't like the introduction of the character and the way that they kind of stuck to a lot of the cliches that are similar to series like this, such as Dot .hack. Uh, overall, I think that Sword Art Online, the movie Ordinal Scale, is probably the best piece of content from the series in years. It doesn't completely avoid the writing pitfalls that have damaged the series, but it does tie up some loose ends and offers a decent story and great action. If you go into watching this with moderately low expectations, you won't be disappointed. I'm going to give this movie a 7 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching my review and let me know what you guys think about this movie in the comment section below. I'm out of here. Peace.